Hello, everyone. Welcome back for another live interview here at DCD Virginia. We are in Leesburg, right outside of Data Center Alley, and I have a very special guest with me here. We've got Alexandra Bromson, Managing Director at Available Infrastructure. Hey, Alexandra. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm excited to, to jump into it. Of course, um, we are talking about the latest stories, trends, and innovations all day here from DCD Virginia Live on JSA TV. I'm Candace Ipos, your host, but we're just going to jump in here um, and hear from Available Infrastructure. So first of all, Alexandra, you started at Available not that long ago at the beginning of the year. So can you tell us a little bit more about why you were excited to join Available? What, what kind of drew you in? Absolutely. So I spent about a decade working in sustainable infrastructure. And after that amount of time becomes kind of a small industry. So I actually crossed paths with Dan, the CEO of Available, working on a different project. Immediately, we noticed some synergies between what Available was building, my background, and I had wanted to move more into a tech focused role. So the timing worked out and I came over to Available now as managing director. So I handle origination, bringing in new customers. Mm -hmm. um, we focus on infrastructure operators, smart cities, and available infrastructure has a, a cutting edge, uh, cyber secure, edge AI resilience solution where we're helping to secure the infrastructure for these operators and I work to customize those solutions. Amazing. Well said. Thank you. And so you talked a little bit about cyber um, security. So why does digital infrastructure need cyber protection? Just first of all, kind of set the stage for us there a little bit. So in our modern world, every device that you can think of from, think of like cameras, traffic cameras, uh, in-vehicle systems, networks, uh, they represent an opportunity for a cyber attack. And as these connected networks expand and are more automated, we need a new approach to really secure those communications. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, nice, uh, nice and easy. And um, also, one topic that we wanted to talk about today is AI poisoning, which I'll be honest, I haven't really heard much about that. That's like a newer term to me. So I'm curious uh, your take on what that is. Can you kind of introduce the audience to that from your perspective? So AI poisoning is a serious cyber threat right now. So while these AI systems are being trained, um, attackers poison the data, thus affecting the decision-making capabilities of the system. So we have built a system on a national grade security zero trust network that trusts nothing verifies everything, every device, every network to make sure that that data is trusted AI protected. Amazing. Well, that is uh, super important, especially now with uh, demand increasing and everything increasing in this industry right now, right? So thank you so much for joining us. Thank um, you for having me. Anybody that has uh, heard this and is interested in AI poisoning or any of these other topics we chatted about, they, if they're watching this live, they can find you here at DCD Virginia. Otherwise, uh, you can find Alexander on LinkedIn and, of course, check out Available Infrastructure online as well. Um, so thank you all for joining us for another live interview here from DCD Virginia. Happy networking, everyone. We'll see you soon. Thank you.